Good morning, tubers. It is June 1st, Saturday morning, and I am changing one of my Dutch bucket systems to Master Blend. I'm going with what MHP Gardener uses on the same mixture. I believe his plants look healthier than mine, and I've been using the Jungle Juice. Plants are doing okay. This is one rail system and the other rail over here. And I have tomatoes on them, but I have this too. It's a uh, little brown stuff all over my, my plants. I don't think, I've been spraying it with baking soda. I don't think that's a fungus. I think that has something to do with the mixture. They're really good at the top, which led me to believe it might be blight. Uh, but I'm not sure at any rate. I'm getting ready to trim all these up. I have quite a few tomatoes on it already uh, I'm going to trim them all up. I'm going to go with the master blend and see if it does any better I've Got flowers all over it tomatoes all over it, but I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to use Continue using the jungle juice over here and see if anything uh, is different I am not getting the blight or the brown spots as nearly as bad over here. There is that, that one little spot. And that was there when I took my transplant, when I took uh, my, my uh, starter and put it in there. So I am not going to attribute that to the jungle juice. At any rate, I'm going to show you how I do it in just a second. Okay, what I've done is I've pre-mixed everything. I've taken, I use this, I found that this is exactly one ounce, which is 28 grams. I've used the equivalent to come up with Bobby's 12 grams of Master Blend, 12 grams of the calcium nitrate, and 6 grams of the Epsom salts. Um, I've measured it all out and I come up with these premixes because I'm going to be going out of town. My wife and Daniel are going to be um, taking care of this uh, often so I'm, I'm hoping that um, they can just add this to 20 gallons of water in my systems, clean my systems out and put new stuff in it every couple of weeks while I'm gone. Um, I, I'm not going to be gone for extended periods of time but if it falls, I'm trying to set a schedule. If it, the change for the nutrient solution falls on a time when I am gone, they will be able to do it. Uh, but this is the mixture. I've already got it all figured out for 20 gallons. Actually, this one's figured out for 25 because that's what I'm putting in here. Um, what I do is I'm going to just dump it in one the first 5-gallon bucket of water. I'm going to stir it up. Add it to that and then follow it with five more of these five gallon buckets and that's it and we'll see what happens with the rest of it uh, I'll give you an update on the rest of this greenhouse soon God bless y'all go plant some dirt I do well before I go there let me tell you this uh, along with the great things that we come up with and, and and the success stories my story on the cracky bed was not such a success my design was flawed and I guess I'll show you what was flawed make sure you support the middle <laughs> I don't know if you can see that or not you see how it's caved in in the middle yeah got to support the middle folks I did do it over there. I took care of that one, but um, this one failed. And when it did, it drained all my nutrient solution out. So I moved it over to the other bed. So, but I moved uh, everything over here. I'm hoping it comes back. I supported the middle, filled it up with some fresh solution, and we'll go from there. We'll see how it does. You know, they're not dead. They're pretty much just letting me know they were <laughs> out of water. God bless. Go play in some dirt, nutrient solution, perlite. 
Whatever makes it grow, y'all. God bless.